in Inglewood, California. Ella, we talked before the game. You said you were nervous going in tonight. And now we know you had no reason to be nervous. What well, do you say? I'm what here. do you say? Kirk Herb Street couldn't even say yeah. it before halftime. Yeah. All he could say, uh, guys, I have no words. Complete no words. domination. There was a minute to go until halftime, and that's what he was saying. Unbelievable. Just a complete and utter bloodbath is what that game just was. You can see TCU fans behind us just filing out. And then, Gino, scroll over here, zoom over here, so you can see the Georgia colors blasting, blaring in the background. It's a heavenly sight out here, guys, to be a Georgia fan experiencing this second championship win back-to-back, -back, never been done by a Georgia team. Rob, you and I were talking about it earlier. It is now start to, starting to be time to bring in the word dynasty. I think that word is legitimate. You know, they've been to the national championship three times under Kirby Smart. Of course, they were one play of winning that first one back in 2017. You know exactly what I'm talking about. They made amends for that against Alabama last year, yep. defeated them in the national championship, avenged that SEC championship loss. No one truly could have predicted tonight's outcome, guys. This is a team that made it all the way to the national championship in TCU. Nobody was expecting this kind of beat town. The Georgia Bulldogs just laid waste to the rest of the college football season, really, 15 and all. Yeah, we, listen, we've been through, obviously, the, the TCU fans still The pride's have still there, but. They still have heart, oh, but, man. I mean, the score speaks for itself. We've been through a lot of heartbreak as Georgia fans over the last five years, a lot of SEC championship win losses. We lost the national championship, so. To now be on the winning side of things, Rob, it just feels incredible. Well, let me just ask you about that. You went to a lot of games as a yeah. student, let's face it, I and did. you had a good football team when you were in school. When I was there, but it's a little bit different yeah. these days, yeah. right? We're competing for national championships now. Explain what that's like. Could you have foreseen that happening when you were in school? No, absolutely not. Aaron Murray was my quarterback. He was yeah. a great quarterback. We had a really good team. We made it to a few SEC championships, never made it into the playoffs, never made it to a national championship. Now, it just feels like we're almost going to do it every single year, and that is a huge ode to Kirby Smart, and we can't forget Stetson Bennett in all of this, Rob. A legend. A legend. A legend. And, uh, well, this was the exact same story as it was last year. Sean, I specifically remember her asking me, Hey, what's it like out there with all the UGA fans streaming out of the stadium? Well, when you win the national cha championship, you hang in the stadium. And all we're seeing right now right. is sad, quiet TCU fans. They can accept it. They know it. We've seen a lot of good sports come out. Their team made it here. A lot to be proud of. But ultimately, the Georgia Bulldogs are clearly the best team, the best program in college football. And we're going to get a look inside of the stadium here coming up after the game a little bit later. We're going to bring you that live on Atlanta News First. Yep. We'll have coverage from all over. It's going to be a really great night. If you're a Georgia fan, you're going to want to stay tuned right here. And we're going to send it back to you guys. Keep in mind, I don't have any audio right now. So if you have any questions for us, you're going to have to hang on to that for just a quick second. We'll send it back to you. We'll catch up with you throughout the show.